in this example, we're going to go and add a signature to a little form where people can uh, answer questions on. So what we have at the moment is we've got this little form. Let's go back to uh, this one. This one over here. So we've got this little form where we want somebody to come in uh, and go and answer a number of questions, and then at the end we actually want them to sign sign the form off using a digital signature or uh, using ink ink and being able to type it in. So what we're going to do here is first go to our little smart object where uh, we're getting the details of the user that's filling this in. So, uh, sorry, wrong one. The little header one over here. User date, uh, and what we also want to do here is store the signature. So we can put the signature inside here, and we can store it in a number of ways. In my example, we actually store it uh, as a JSON, as some text. So we're going to add this little signature in here. We're going to go to the header. So the header item that we're busy editing is this top section over here, and I'm going to put maybe a little section here where they can sign this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add a little row. Now one of the custom controls K2 has got on the K2 Underground is this little digital signature one. I'm just going to drop that inside here, and we can go and now configure it. So in my rules, I'm going to have a rule that when the form is initialized, so when the form is initialized, we're going to execute a method Execute the controls method, we're going to go to the digital signature control and then initialize it for signing. Alright, okay. So if we have a look at what that does, let's just save that. Now if I go and refresh this, form initializes and we've now got a little signature control. Now what I want to do is that when we hit the save, I actually want to go and save that as part of the data that we have now that, that signature. So what we're going to do is when when uh, when I hit the save button at the bottom here, I want that signature to be saved as well. So if I go to my uh, my form where we have that uh, save button on, so remember the signature is loaded up here. When I hit save, I want it to load inside there as well. Uh, I'm going to when my save is clicked. Here I'm calling the header save method. What I need to do is it's the place for the signature, I'm just going to go to the controls, sorry, the header item, going to the controls on that, there's digital signature, I just simply drag and drop that in, and that'll save that digital signature into that control, and then I can actually load that up later and display it somewhere else if I need to. It's also got features, uh, the signature's got features to save it as an image as well and do things with it uh, further down the line if you need to as well. Just check that in. Now, hitting the save button will actually go and save that away.